EPL Beauty Beauty magazine. Pumping sorry. out as many magazines as we can. Um, Where can um, people buy the magazine? You can get our magazine through our website. We've got, an, we've got a website called ethiobeauty.com. Okay. Uh, you can subscribe, so we deliver to your door as well. You can okay. get an online copy, and we are in uh, news agents up and down the country as well. Actually. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, is there anything you want to say to any of your Ethiopia Beauty magazine readers? Thanks for promo thanks for promoting us. Thanks for talking about us. Thanks for tweeting, Instagramming, and there's so much more to come. And can you tell us what your Twitter is and your Instagram? Our Twitter and Instagram is Ethiopia Beauty. On Twitter and Instagram is EB as well. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Crooked Wanderers Football Club. Can you give us a bit of background? How old is the club? Uh, when did it start? Um, Crooked Wanderers is a charter standard club. It's a club that we started in 2011. Um, we, we started at Division 1 Central East, the Middlesex County League. Um, also, the way we started the, league, uh, the team is uh, we had five side tournament, over 180 players turned up to the tournament, and we set up the team through using the tournament players, the five side players. Okay, um, I heard that, that you've won silverware, is this true? Yes, we've won a number of silverware. In our first season, to be honest, we never won nothing, but in our second season, where we've won the trophies, we're looking at them over here. This is Islington Midweek Cup. It's, this cup, if you look at it, it's, been, it's a very old cup. Um, the first team that won it was 1929, so it's very prestige cup. Um, over here, this is another trophy that we won in 2013. This is a trophy that um, Homeless, UK Homeless League, that we won it in um, Manchester. Okay. It's a national cup. This is the Division 1 champion, Championship Cup. This is the League Cup, this is the big one. This is the one that got us to Premier League 6 County League. Uh, this is a trophy, the big one, we won it in Europe. Uh, this one is it. We won in Italy. Okay. Um, we won it in 2011. And this one was the previous year to that one, 2012. So we were back to back champion in that one. And this one is the Division One. This is uh, Division One is the midweek. The reason we got uh, we met, uh, we uh, set up this football team is to engage young people and to get okay. young people into training and employment, as well as. These guys being successful on the pitch, they've been successful off the pitch as well. 38 out of 57 players got employment last year alone. So it was a really success story on the pitch and off the pitch. Okay, and what do you think about today's event at the oh, Brent Civic Centre? Love it. Made really good contacts. Love the fashion show, love the designings, I love the design. Uh, this is something that I'm really proud of. Proud of some of the guys out there, some of the young entrepreneurs out there and the young designers. I'm really impressed, really proud of them. Models are great as well. <laughs> if someone was interested in um, perhaps joining or wanting to watch a Cripple and Wanderers FC match, where do they go? What do they do? Um, do you have a Twitter? Yes, uh, you can go with me too to check out the league, but also you can go on www.ashfordplace.org.uk. Okay. Uh, you can get more information there about the club. Um, we play at the Arc Academy, we play our home matches there on the Saturdays and midweek we play at where is, where is the Arc Academy? It's at Wembley Park. Oh, Wembley Park, Park right next to Wembley Stadium? Yeah, okay. right next to Wembley Park Station. Yeah, perfect. And also uh, the midweek uh, team plays at Isn't It Market Road. So, um, so there's two teams to, to follow there. Okay, thank you very much for your time.
romantic tequila and together we're Sophia's cakes. So how long have you been making cakes then? About two years now. Yeah, and what made you actually say, let's do the cake industry? Well, it began with us just baking in general. We really enjoy baking. And it got to a point where we were baking so much at home, my mum was getting annoyed. She was like, either sell it or eat it. Because we weren't eating it. So we decided to sell it. And literally, it started from there. It's building really quickly. So how did you... Um, make contact with Ashford Place or did they contact you? How did that whole relationship start? Well, a friend of ours who's also in touch with Ashford Place told us about about the work that they were doing and I contacted them and they were really interested in what we were doing and what yeah. to help us. They've been so good, they've been so helpful for us and I hope I'm hoping, business plan. I'm hoping that we continue to work with them because it's been really good so far. So have you really finished supported. your business plan? Is it ready to, to pitch? No, not yet, but it, we're working on it together at the moment. Okay, so once the business plan is complete, what is the plan? The plan is to keep growing, keep making cakes, keep being innovative. I think that's what sets us apart. Um, and yeah, I mean, a shop front would be lovely. A pop-up shop would be nice for the closer future I guess yeah. to um, contact you how do they do that um, they can contact us via email so info at sophiascakes.com okay. they can call us um, we're on Instagram we're on Twitter we've got our own website w what, what is your Twitter name um, Sophia underscore cakes okay. and uh, our Facebook is Sophia's Cakes so, so Sophia's Cakes and Cupcakes I changed it okay. so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah fantastic Okay, um, is there anything that you would like to say to the um, event organisers for today? I guess just mainly a big thank you for the opportunity. We've met so many amazing people and it kind of shows you like with support how far you can really go. So definitely contacting networking is really good here. It's amazing. Okay, so that's Sophia's Cakes. I said that right? Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much for your time. Hopefully we'll see you in the future. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your company? Um, it started around about nine years ago. I started okay. customising tops for friends and uh, I just moved on from there. I started doing work for shops, I started doing work for various clientele and um, it just grew. So year on year it just started growing um, to the point where it is now where I have a gallery, I have a website. You yeah. have a gallery. Yeah. Is it is there a public display or is it yes, online? Yes. You know, it's it's online as well as public display. Every weekend it's on at Wembley Retail Park. Okay. Um, so it's open for public if they wanted to come in, have a look at my work as well as other people's work as well. So it's not just not just me. And how did you come about to be at this event today? Um, well, I do. I did a lot of work, and I still do a lot of work for um, Ashford Place. Um, they've they've thrown me a lot of work my way, so I've always been in contact with them. Well, like the last maybe seven, seven years or eight years now. Okay. So um, yeah, I got to know that this event is happening through them. And what have you made of today's event? It's been very good. I've spoken to a few people that are quite interested in what I do. They want to help me out. So um, it's been really good networking. And, um, and the fashion show has been great also. And so if anyone wanted to find out about your, your stuff and what you do, your Website address mirza-arts.com, email address, phone number, and um, yeah, and I'm also on Instagram and Facebook, Fantastic. so they can get a hold of me any which way. Okay, Mirza, thank you very much for your time. You're very welcome. Enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you. Okay, we're here with um, Enzyme Media. Can you tell us how long um, your company's been um, set up and how you came about to set this up? Well, actually, the company has been going in for quite a while, since last year. We've been uh, planning it, trying to structure the team. Now we have got uh, the opportunity that for Ashford for giving us the time 
an effort uh, to choose come to this event. This is, uh, as you can see, I was just about to ask you, um, Enzyme Media, mm. Media and Architectural Services Integrating Through Communication. Right. Can you break that down a little bit for us? Media, never happened before. Media, it's that specific one part that fans media. So we tend to do that film production, uh, camera work, editing, as well as graphic and web design, as well as, as, well as 3D design. Okay. So we, we intended to do architecture, mix it in. The next department we do that architecture for 3D design, interior, and amongst other things. Okay. Um, how did you come to um, start working with uh, Ashford Place? Actually, it's through a friend of mine. He's the one who introduced me to uh, Ashford Place. When uh, we started off to, to find a job for myself. Uh, As we always. You know, <laughs> but surprisingly, you know, nothing, everything happens for a reason. Yes. You never know, you know. It's, so here I am. Okay. I never expected this. Well, what have you got um, planned or what would you like to be doing in the future with regards to Enzyme Media? Enzyme Media hopefully will be exposed to commercial um, companies mm -hmm. such as BBC, Channel 4, uh, as well as trying to go to like, worldwide. So we're doing like at the moment a cabin, a prototype. So we're getting lots of information so we can uh, build it. Uh, same, part, same part of the third world country. Okay. And um, what have you made of um, the event today? The events? Blew my socks away. <laughs> Blew my socks off. The event's kind of quiet. It's quite nice. Interesting. Of course, uh, beautiful model, beautiful clothes, it's all colourful. Uh, what can I say? Sexy yeah, London is a production company. Okay. And we work as now, due to the uh, networking like sort of opportunities as your place gave us, we were able to come under the roof of a photography studio in Caledonian Road. So there's a collective of us now, three directors and editors and graphic designers and web designers and photographers that we kind of help each other out and we push forward to try and create products for brands. So we work with Adidas, Works with Mini, Waitrose, Danny Brown. So it's kind of we're just trying to push Who forward. Who was it that helped you um, at, uh, at Ashford Place? Carmen. Carmen, Carmen Lorente. Carmen Lorente is amazing. She helped us from the start, where we are now, and I know she's gonna help us for years and years and years to come. And the thing with Carmen, she always feels like she hasn't helped enough. You know, yeah. she feels that she hasn't helped enough, which is, I mean, for her just to even, just, just from the first meeting she helped enough, from the confidence she gave me, from the networking link she gave me, and she, I mean, she sent us to Germany, to Berlin, that's something that's really changed my whole life, because I now want to go study abroad, that's something I wouldn't have thought about before, so, I mean, Carmen brought this together, Carmen helped us with leaflets, Carmen helped me with setting up, Carmen helped with the iPad, Carmen's amazing, thank you Ashford Place and thank you for everything.